Alrighty then. So, this round of, oh hey, polar and damage ground. Anyway, so for this one we have my Jim Hadar, who is, well, the setup I went for him was I actually decided, I decided to clean it on the Predators, or Yatja from the pre movie Predator. So, um, yeah, you know, one pointy stick. A few things that, while they're good and useful, are not exactly meta. And also because it's a Jim Kadar I decided to go with the Jim Kadar instead. And this thing, which. More turrets is, um, useful. One of the things I sometimes forget with this particular build, though, is that spam kit modules and get stuff. It's not a controllable one like the Borg one, though. It's like the Borg frame, it has that mechanic where you click the button six times, and then the seventh time is when it gives you the turret. It doesn't just have a 1 in 8 chance of happening at random. Good music on this map. One thing occurs to me is that using a plasma blast wave turret is a sub-optimal option for this because of the limited range of plasma blast wave turrets. If I do get a um, a, a kit or a turret off of the uh, frame power, that would be useful though. Because those have actually better range than my main attack. I think my Alachi Walker pet actually got KO'd. Oh good, I have someone helping me. Alrighty then. Yeah, it occurs to me that this isn't really a uh, stand back and shoot build.
Yeah, next task is the first version of the Guardian. Oh, that means that we didn't get the optional for uh, the first data port. Oh, there it is. It literally ran underneath it. I genuinely wonder if uh, uh, a lot of players just don't realize you can even stand on these. Okay, looks like Snow Bunny is going for the data drone. Well, the one on the right, anyways. Well, that was efficient work. I'm going to go with this one here. Oh, now it drops a Polaroid burst turret. Oh yeah, that's, that's another thing, is that... Um, it says phaser turret when you read the, the kit uh, thing, but it actually gives you a faction appropriate one. All right, Guardian 2. Wow, he died before I finished the uh, Polaron bombardment. Really hate this uh, disintegration column things. Okay, center is clear. I bet that that burning floor on an elite first disc would just straight one shot you for touching it. Because it does a lot of damage on normal. A lot. Or maybe it'll be one of those things in, in ground where it just doesn't actually change all that much at all. 
that happens too. Yeah, one of the things with this uh, particular kit frame here is that having uh, modules that you spam a lot, even though you don't know when you'll actually get a, a turret uh, spawned, for, the more you spam stuff, the uh, better your odds are. Oh yeah, it's Garden, Guardian 3. Well, okay, we got most of the optionals, that's good. Alrighty then, well, yeah, that was my Jim Hadar theme build, or er, theme build on my Jim Hadar. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure it actually counts as a good build, but it, it, it works. It also, it's one of those things that's kind of defensive and more of like a support build than a like direct offense build, I guess you could say. And also, uh, I'm using pets, but not particularly um, direct damage-oriented pets. So, I don't know. Oh, well, that's this one. 